Hello, Kauai. Here's a special COVID-19 briefing from Team Kauai for Friday, April 30th. Happy Aloha Friday. Due to the current number of cases, we felt it was very important to do an update today. The Department of Health is reporting 16 new cases today. We continue to see a high volume of people getting tested, which is a good thing. More testing catches more cases, so thank you to those who have been doing the right thing by getting tested. All 16 of today's new cases are Koi residents, four children and 12 adults. Two of the cases are related to mainland travel. The remaining 14 cases are considered community acquired. We are observing unrelated community acquired infections island wide. This indicates that for the first time, we have extensive and sustained community transmission on our island. We have 55 active cases None are hospitalized. 215 people are now in Department of Health directed quarantine. The numbers may change as investigation continues. Our cumulative case count total is 299, including 262 confirmed locally, two probable, and 35 tested out of state, off island, but reported after their arrival to Kauai. The rise in case counts were anticipated as we opted back into safe travels, but the sudden and sharp spike in cases is deeply concerning. Here is what we know. Most of the cases are community acquired and are not linked to mainland visitors. Most of the travel related cases are residents who traveled inter-island. We are starting to see more cases in children, but there is no evidence that transmission is occurring within schools. Although scientific evidence shows that young children may not see as severe symptoms, we are still unclear as to the long-lasting effects in children. This is also a reminder that children can still get sick and pass the virus on to others. And children, most children, are not eligible for vaccines because of age. This makes it even more important for adults who are around children to help protect them by getting vaccinated. We also know that most of the positive cases are in individuals who have not received the vaccine. In the four cases of fully vaccinated individuals, they either had no symptoms or very mild symptoms. Vaccines are not 100% effective in preventing disease, but they provide a very high level of protection. And if you do become sick, you're unlikely to become seriously ill. I have been fully vaccinated and aside from some mild body aches after my second dose, which lasted about a day, I feel a lot safer being out in public. Further, by getting vaccinated, we are helping those who cannot get vaccinated, including our kupuna, our keiki, and those with certain health conditions. If you are thinking about getting a vaccine, know that vaccines are now available island-wide at our local hospitals pharmacies, and Costco, including on weekends and evenings. For more information, please visit koi.gov forward slash vaccine. My vaccine protects me and my vaccine protects you. If you are on the fence about getting a vaccine, we'd encourage you to talk to your family and friends who have been vaccinated to hear about their experience. Finally, we know that as an island, we have let our guard down a little being that we were so safe for so long. Based on Department of Health data, our mask compliance is the lowest in the state. Wearing a mask is the simplest and quickest way to stop the spread. Wearing a mask helps to prevent you from unknowingly spreading the virus to others, especially our children and those that cannot get vaccinated. My mask protects you, your mask protects me. We have been working long and hard at this Kauai. 14 months in and we still lead the way in vaccine distribution, low hospitalizations, and the least fatalities. But now is the time to come together once again and smash this curve. We have done it before and we will do it again. Your incident management team is grinding away at mitigative measures and intervening in the current surge in cases. The four pillars of mitigation are prevention, detection, containment, and treatment. The absolute best method of disease prevention is through vaccination and getting back to basics, such as wearing masks and avoiding large gatherings. We have more ways to help with detection of the virus, which includes testing and contact tracing. By the way, 
If you have not yet downloaded the Aloha Safe Alert app, please do that today. By simply downloading this app, you're helping our island in contact tracing, which is typically a time-consuming and exhaustive process. The app does not track you or your information, but will alert you if you have potentially been exposed. It is the official contact tracing application for the state of Hawaii, and you can download it from your phone's app store. Please know that contact tracers must follow strict guidelines when helping you determine who in your circle would be defined as close contacts. Of course, if you become a positive case, it's helpful for you to share that information with family and friends who may have been exposed. A huge mahalo to some of our recent positive cases who have been brave enough to share that they are positive. This has led to an increase in testing, which helps us identify and contain disease. If you become a positive case, you can remain isolated at home. But for those who cannot stay home, usually because they live closely with others, our isolation center can accommodate you. Should you require hospitalization, our hospitals have spent the past year building their ICU capacity, ventilator capacity, and also have better treatments that weren't available a year ago. That's a brief summary of the four pillars, which again are prevention, detection, containment, and treatment. But here on Kauai, we always got to do things a little different. So we're going to add a fifth pillar, the most important, which is community. Working together as a community is our absolute best chance at flattening the curve. By now, we all know what to do. Wear a mask in public and avoid large gatherings. If you must gather, stay outside and wear your mask. If you're sick, stay home. If you travel, take extra precautions. Residents who travel pose a higher risk of spreading COVID because they go to work, they go to school, gatherings, and overall have more exposure to others. So it's important to limit your contact with others in the 10 days after you return home. And please take a free post-travel test at the convention hall three to five days after arrival. Most importantly, get a vaccine if you're able to. The sooner, the better, and definitely before you travel. Given our current spike in cases, many are asking what's next. We are headed towards a shift in tiers from tier four to tier three. However, we also recognize that any additional restrictions should address the current cause of transmission. And we recognize that the current tier chart was created many months ago when we were in a different situation. At this time, our incident management team is reviewing all of our options to reach our best path forward. One that will help us to contain our case counts quickly in order for us to get back up and running. We will update you as soon as we've made a determination on any new rule or restriction. In the meantime, it's up to all of us to avoid getting sick and avoid making others sick. This is the most basic yet most effective way for us to move forward. As we enter into this weekend and the coming weeks, please be careful and use common sense. We don't need to live in fear, but we do need to take this seriously. Let's do this, Koi. The power is in our hands to come together and get this island back on track. We know what works to help prevent the spread of COVID-19 on our island. Please wear your mask. Remember, my mask protects you and your mask protects me. Wash your hands, keep your distance, avoid gatherings, and of course, consider getting a vaccine. Now's the time. Mahalo for helping to keep Kauai safe.